Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you very much for joining me on the channel today. As always, it's great to come back at you with a brand new video. Big up to all of you guys that are supporting over on Patreon. If you want to come and jump on the FYM Patreon, the link will be dropped down below. So we have got a brand new release and this comes from Falling in Reverse and this is prequel. Now this does feature on the new album from Falling in Reverse, which is Popular Monster. Now I've heard quite a lot, mainly the singles, from this particular album through stuff we've featured like over the space of the years of the channel and i've always gen i would say 99 percent of the time i do enjoy the music the following in reverse put out so i'm really looking forward to checking this one out i would say if you're not already following them go ahead and follow them but it's falling in reverse and they're uh pretty much everyone knows who they are the marketing of this band is next level but i'm looking forward to checking this one out you always might get something a little bit different you never really know with ronnie and the boys but what they put out is all always really good stuff so drop a like if you like it and uh, let me know your thoughts down below i hope everybody is doing well i should have a fair bit of content coming out for you this week so stay tuned on the channel but let me know what you want to see below and i'll get on that for you anyway without any further ado let's get on it this is falling in reverse and this is prequel here we go Going for the epic dear as diary, always. Dear diary, I've been searching for a higher me. I'm in the sky in the pilot seat, trying to stop my mind from spiraling, and that's irony. That's irony. I'm just looking for a resolution. I just wanna be a better human, but it's hard when everybody's acting stupid. Pardon me if that came off rude. I just have a bad attitude with the world and not just with you. Yeah, I give it. Ronnie's always true to himself, use. both I online and in his lyrics. Strange. I don't think that I'll ever change. I survived a whole life of pain. You could say I escaped my fate. I'm a cynical, egotistical, unpredictable. We're going big. I could be a little hypocritical, but I'll admit it straight to your face. I'm unbreakable, irreplaceable, undeniably inspirational. I lose everything I had available to make me the person I am today. Teasing us. Dear diary, dear diary, I just had another wild dream. I was in a world that admired me, and when I woke up, I was smiling. And that's irony, that's irony. You talk a lot, but you don't even know me. I'm just hoping that my testimony will inspire y'all to stop acting phony. Pardon me if that came off weird. I don't mean to be mean, I swear. I have been through a lot this year. I just want to make a few things clear. I don't like it when people hate behind my back and not to my face nowadays it just feels so fake so we'll cut the grass to expose the snakes i'm unstoppable it's impossible you don't want to see the diabolical side of me that never stops is volatile so i suggest you stay in your lane i'm unapologetic you know where it's headed i will never so ever far. get up off the pedal i got the spirit of every warrior in the other and you praise the fascists you kiss the hand that takes half in taxes faking outrage and being seen a generation with no self-esteem it's time to rise up and stand against them break the chains and finally see the vision we're post-traumatic from a broken system follow me into the see how some people will have a problem with this video to fight. don't be afraid to twist the knife your sacrifice to break the curse prepare to die prepare to burn abandon hope it's not enough because all our gods abandon us your sacrifice to break the curse, fight the match, watch it burn! Like. 
This is definitely different and not the all out drops and breakdowns that I might normally expect. All right, guys, so that was Falling in Reverse with Prequel. Now, yeah, again, Falling in Reverse have proved to us that the, you, can, you can never really know exactly what you're going to get with it. They're not going to be one of these bands that are going to put the same sort of formula out every time. And I really like what they did with this. And for me, normally, I would like something which is just lots and lots of breakdowns, lots of guttural vocals, and then some cleans, but that's not what you got with this. This was more, um, it more delved into the sort of, like you get a lot of these more spoken slash rap songs and it really showcases Ronnie's ability as a vocalist and both as a writer I would say as well I really loved the lyrics with this and it's nice to be able to do one as well where you don't sort of necessarily have to decipher everything afterwards because obviously it was clear as hell and you could you could you could tell everything that he was saying in it you know rather than if it was like something like Cannibal Corpse and you're like right I need to read the lyrics because I don't have a clue what they're saying I think it's going to be quite a controversial one purely because of the way that the video came across and the way that Ronnie is um, is in the video, certainly portraying himself as, um, as, as essentially as the saviour, Christ, I'm guessing. Uh, well, it's pretty, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Especially when he goes to the bit when he's like crucified and then is rising up. I'm like, that is going to annoy a lot of people and a lot of people are going to get offended by that. But I think it's also really, really clever marketing because through doing a video like that, it's going to get a lot of people talking about it. All of the people that hate on Ronnie a lot, they're going to be putting, I'm sure there's already probably God knows how many um, little sub threads on reddit of people complaining about this but i think if you just take it for what it is i don't think it's probably meant to be i'm sure he doesn't think that he is like the savior of everyone i think it's probably just a really cool idea that they've come up with but i do really love when whenever i look into anything online and you see anything you know ronnie's talking about something and as much as you can hate him, he does. I do feel that he does speak a lot of truth. Don't agree with everything that he puts out there. Some things I'd be like, oh, I'd probably have left that. But I think what they've put across in this song is really good. He's just they're just they're just telling us that you know, um, there's an awful lot of hate out there. The world is just basically screwed. And also, he's also saying, you know, if you are going to be saying anything, you know, do it direct to him. Don't don't like hide behind something which I think it's quite easy to do when we live in a world where we're all, you know, behind some sort of screen. But to the song itself, I did sort of go off topic there. So the song itself, I really, really enjoyed this. I do like a little bit of rap music from time to time. I do also like my heavy stuff and I also like some softer stuff as well. And this kind of got the balance between the two of them because you had those those longer sections which are more of a rap style. I guess the closest I'd probably compare it to uh, would be does the artist NF feel like Ronnie is probably the... I saw, I did see somebody comment just as I thought. I was like, just as I was about to go into this, I was like, oh, somebody's already said what I was about to say, that I do think he's like the sort of heavy world version of nf who's a really really good artist actually so to for me to compare it to that compare it to that i think i think that's a pretty that's pretty good but the song speaks for itself there's a hell of a lot of layers under this i love all the time and attention that's gone into adding the sort of what do you call it you know like that epic vocal that you hear in lots of opera and things like that they've they've put that in there and then the song it goes it gradually gets more and more epic and then you just wait in for that big drop and and it comes and but it's totally like not what i was expecting and i love it when you get a song like this because it's what everyone's going to be talking about and we always like to see the artists that we're doing really really pushing the boundaries and i do think they have with this and especially with the video i'm really really looking forward to seeing what sort of criticism this one does get if i was in a band would i have put something out like that hell no not a chance in hell but do i think it was a good move for them to do that yes i do it shows that there's like you know what let's just put it out there this is what we want to do let's uh let's shake it up a bit which i think they definitely will will i be listening to this again absolutely 100 percent. yes 
I think this is probably one of the uh, one of the best ones I've seen from Falling in Reverse. Doesn't always have to have massive breakdowns all over the place for me to be like, yeah, that's an that's an amazing track. I think as an all round, this is just like wow. And I was a uh, I was taking I was quite taken aback with this. Was not expecting this at all. But I'm really really looking forward to it. Anything that I would change about it, given that it's Falling in Reverse, it's kind of hard for me to even say whether I would change anything because as like artists who write their own music, it's, it was just absolutely epic. I think it was really, really cool. Maybe, maybe I'd maybe have added some guttural vocals in there like Ronnie does usually a bit more to, to sort of satisfy me, but with that being said, I do also think if that had have been there, I'd have thought maybe it wasn't so maybe it wasn't needed. So I could actually be wrong by thinking that, but it's all subjective and we just we just want what we want from music. But that is the new one from Falling in Reverse prequel. Do let me know what you thought of this one, guys. Please do drop down in the comments what you would like. Um, I've just added a new tier on Patreon. So if you want to go out or go over and check that out, that would be really, really cool. So that is uh, today's video. But I hope you're all having a really, really great week, literally the start of the week. So take it easy, guys. Hope you all have a good one. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <coughs>